it's February 22nd, 2011. We're going to me and King Man are going to be going back to uh, St. Clair Cave with the Royal Ontario Museum crew, Bert and Lynn, and uh, Alina and Sila. Only today we are going to the Lemon Ridge entrance. And that's King Man preparing himself, conserving his energy because it's going to be a lot of work. So he's just getting ready right now. And uh, Burton and Alina will be with us soon, and we're going to head down the road because we got to drive a ways over towards Jericho before we start the hike to the the Black Riverbed, and then up to the cave entrances. And then you drive. that goes down to the Black River and then we got to go up the Black River up that way and then through a short cave to the left that's right on the side of the river and the other side of that we will get to the Lemon Ridge entrance of St. Clair Cave. It'll take us roughly half an hour to get there. So we should say it's about 4.30 now so we should still have no problem getting there in time to set up the nets so we can catch something different uh, than we got at the other entrance last night. So are we doing the same as last night? Uh, essentially the same, yeah, um, and that, uh, well, we will we'll only be collecting bats if we find anything other than the six species we got last night, and uh, we do know that bats fly out to uh, make the long flight over to get to the Lemon Ridge entrance. We don't know if uh, we're going to get anything coming preferentially out of that entrance or not, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, we go through this, and then we come into a cockpit on the other side of this. This is only maybe 30, 40 meters long. And then the other side, a bit below a cliff, and uh, then the actual Lemon Ridge entrance on the right-hand side. So, so nothing... Uh, no, I think probably some more tibious. Uh, it's a bit of a passage uh, to the left up ahead. And I think there's some roosting in there. I mean, we could have a look with the uh, headlamps and see if it's, you know. Usually the artibias are fairly easy to, to spot. Okay, right now we are at the, uh, the outer entrance series. Comes right down to the riverside. One goes through here just about 30 meters or so. Comes out in a small cockpit on the other side. And uh, then on the right-hand side is the sloping uh, entrance that goes down into St. Clair Cave, known as the Lemon Ridge Entrance. Yeah, yeah, this is all just collapsed. Yeah, this is a passage, and on the other side too, I mean, St. Clair Cave at one time extended through here, 
and you know this was attached to it that might have continued also also in another direction uh, but then this is just all collapsed in and that's also what makes me think that that riverbed out there parts of it at one time was cave passage as well maybe a, a you know uh before this was because this is down lower than that so um you know we've got it's like the surface erosion has happened had happened faster than the uh internal erosion in the cave made the cave go deeper so the ceiling just got thinner and thinner and thinner until it couldn't support itself anymore and it collapses in Just like my cutlass down there, either. Okay, we are at the Lemon Ridge entrance to St. Clair Cave. What time is it, Burn? It's Where are we, King Man? And speak. We are at the Lemon Ridge entrance to the cave. And tell us about when you first came through here, when you first came out this entrance. First time I came through this entrance it was like two o'clock in the night. And it's like four years ago. We went from Polygon to Lemon Ridge. What did you use for light? Oh, we used a bottle torch. Okay, and it, how? And you had to swim at one point yes. before you got here. Yes. So how did that go using a bottle torch? Well, it was not so difficult and it was fun for us. Cool. And, and how was it getting back to the road from here once you'd finally come out? Well, it was like two o'clock in the night, you know, because the back of the torch, we couldn't see as far to find the entrance, so we had to search for like an hour. And the mist net is now up, running across most of the entrance with a harp trap over to the left of the entrance somewhat but the uh, mist net is several meters back from the entrance so there's lots of room still for bats to to get around it we're not going to try and catch every bat that's coming out of here okay 17.57 got the first bat in the harp trap uh, more mops, Blavellii, uh, Antillian ghost face bat, and the Jamaican dippy face bat. It's beautiful. I'm going, and I think I have to 
whack my headlamp or something because it doesn't want to turn on right now. So. We're at the uh, other entrance to St. Clair Cave near Lemon Ridge. Uh, so essentially we're trying to find out uh, whether there's other bats, different species of bats that are using this exit uh, compared to the single entrance. Uh, so essentially we're just trying to get as much of the, of the diversity of the, of the bats that uh, live in St. Clair Cave. And we are February 22nd today, 2011. The day after, we were at the polyground entrance to the cave. Tonight we got Ken, same crew, Burton Lim, the Royal Ontario Museum, Kingman, Jamaican Caves Organization, Alina Asurla. Asurla, I get that right? With the Ron as well? Yes. Yes, the Royal Ontario Museum. The videographers, Stefan. And that's the entrance right there, Kingman's standing in front of. If he doesn't watch his step, you're going to watch him disappear screaming into the dark at high speed. And we don't want that to happen. Okay, it's about 18.12 right now. We <coughs> got our uh, our first bat, which is the Mormops, at, uh, at 17.57. Then we got our first Terranotus McClay, McClay at 18.08. And then the first Terranotus Quadradens at 18.10. And those were all in the harp trap, and now we've just gotten our first bat in the mist net over on this side. And Terry notice McClay, is it? Okay, now a strong plate has just started in the last minute. And in fact, you can hear them. It's 1813 right now. You can hear the rushing of the wings in the air coming out the entrance back behind me. Right there. And a lot of bats are coming out. And they seem to us, when we were in this cave before, while the flight was happening, just after sunset, that they're all coming across from the inferno, most of them anyways. There aren't many bats roosting in the passage between the inferno and this entrance. This is King Man holding a Moor Mops Blenvillii. Burden, is it Blenvillii or Blenvillii? Blenvillii? Blenvillii. Moor Mops Blenvillii. Antillian ghost faced bat. And as you can see, it's actually quite a cool bat and a beautiful color too, as well. Yeah. And these are spread right out. It's fairly large. So you get King Man's. Hands in here, so you see them in perspective. And we are going to. Okay, him going now. <laughs> I'm hightailing it back into that cave. Okay, it is 20 06 
just after 8 o'clock. We're going to start taking the nets down. We've caught only three species at these this entrance, the two smaller Terranotus, and the clay eye and the quadrants and the more mops Blenvillii. So it seems, and we got all of them fairly early on. So for some reason, we had six species using the other end, which is fairly close to the main roost, the Inferno, and only three making the long flight through to the Lemon Ridge entrance. So uh, it seems we're not going to be able to accomplish a whole lot more tonight. So we are going to get the mist net down, get the harp trap put back together, and then we are going to make our way back down to the Black Riverbed and uh, follow it along and try to find our track back up to where we parked.